as we look to you for your generous support, we're sharing with you some personal stories of people whose lives have been dramatically improved by MDA. Angela Rigglesworth considers herself one of those people. Angela loves to dance, and with the help of MDA and her power wheelchair, she has been able to remain active and independent. She has a successful career as an educator, and as you're about to see, her positive outlook makes her a true inspiration. Am I the only one who wants to have fun? My name is Angela. I was diagnosed at 16 months old with spinal muscular atrophy type 2. I absolutely love dancing, and I feel like I'm pretty good. I've got some rhythm in these wheels. I think it's important for everybody to dance and get your groove on. <laughs> I am Wonk a Wondrous Wizard. I'm a fourth grade teacher at Clink Elementary here in Houston, Texas. So what I want you to do is we're going to open our books and we're going to There's so much that I love about being a teacher and I think that is one of my gifts. She's like one of the best teachers that you could ever ask for. There's so much that I can't do. I can't open a marker cap. I can't turn the light on in my classroom. I can't, I can't, I can't. And yet, I can every day because I have kids who are willing to help me. She drops stuff often, and so she asks us to pick it up, and we are willing to do it. In the long run, I think it teaches us to be better people. I really uh, deeply credit MDA Camp for helping me to become an independent woman. I loved it so much. It was an incredible experience. When I'm able to really look at those learning lessons from camp, that's where I learned to ask for help from other people. I had 16 years of MDA camp that were just fantastic. Good morning, Angela. When I talk about having SMA, I tell people that there are three things that I can do well. I can put on my makeup because I'm terrified of clowns and I don't want to look like one. Uh, I can brush my teeth and I can feed myself. And other than that, that's all I can do. I need help for everything. It doesn't embarrass me, but it's something that I've accepted and I can't choose what I can and can't do physically, but I can choose my attitude about it. I like to give people the illusion of my independence. I want someone to look at me and think, wow, she does it all, when in reality I don't. Angel does not allow her disability to define who she is. People should help MDA because they help people like me. Every dollar has given me hope. Every minute at camp has taught me lessons. And I'll forever be grateful for these 30 years of a relationship that I've had with MDA. I live independently. I work. I have my own home. All of those things are because of MDA. As I said before, you truly are an inspiration. And you know what? I think I'm going to make your middle name positive. What a beautiful story. And Angela, I know that you probably want to share with everybody out there what people should know about him, how MDA has made a difference. MDA has clearly, by this video, um, it's obvious how much they have driven me towards my independence. And I, I think that uh, I, my life would not have been the same without MDA. And I'm, I'm so grateful uh, to have been blessed with an MDA family. Well, it's so good to see you here tonight. And you look beautiful in your dress, I must say. Well, everybody, please support MDA. Call 1-800-FIGHT-MD or go to mda.org and charge your secure donation. And you can also make a difference by making a $10 donation by texting MDA to the number 20222. And I like to let you do the thank you. Thank you. <laughs>